Here's your wine cellar, and then we lead into the theater. The next room is your cigar lounge. Why wouldn't I have a cigar lounge? It's a great area to entertain. Every single square inch is finished. What? Basketball court. Shaq Diesel himself rented the house out when he played for the Get camp. out of here. This is a dog house that has granite countertops with their bowls in here. Uh, I don't think I need to see any more. I mean, this is awesome. This house is amazing, but it's in Cleveland. It's a good investment, too. So if it doesn't work out in five years and you want to go back to LA, you want to go to Vegas, you call me, we move it, you make money. It's a good investment, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for it's, showing uh, us. Can I talk to you for a second? What's up? You can't be serious right now. I don't know. I thought like, okay, you don't you don't like Cleveland. I get you don't like Cleveland. But it, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm no, I'm how, not, how much do we do I you really go? Down. Hold on. How much do you go out? If we found a house that is just magnificent, that is us, that is grandiose, that is huge, that has everything that you ever wanted in a house, we can't find anything in Vegas. We can't find anything in Los Angeles. And I was you thinking, know, God, you no, know, but like, I, I, you I, love I, all my friends. I mean, I was just thinking, like, what's easy? You want you want family oriented. You want kids. You don't want you want a family. I mean, we were drove by. People like, were waving at us. I mean, I, think, I understand right now, but I'm 280 days on the road. I have a job that requires me and my contract is this big my calendar is this much full i have one day off a month i'm extremely busy and i'm always gone i need to figure it out what i'm going to do with my life what i'm going to do with my career what i'm going to do with my job what i'm going to do with my house do you understand how much i have to deal with yes, right now that's why i was <laughs> trying to take something off your table i was trying to i swear to you I this was is really, actually adding I trying, to my freaking table oh, I okay i don't want to come here I, don't wanna, I feel I don't extremely you. freaking anxious right now. I don't know if it's because I'm pregnant or what the f is going on, but I'm freaking out. Can I just ask something? Are we all good here in this situation? Things are cool. Are we good? Are we okay? <sighs> what a weird day. Do you have a problem? Is there still an issue? This trip is supposed to be a nice trip. Like, Liv and Ariana and I had a great time surfing, but it was supposed to be something that all of us were supposed to do. Like, if everybody bailed on me, I would have no one to do these activities with. It's just, you said some stuff last night that I just feel like made me uncomfortable and... Do yeah. you, without, because now you're you're sober, correct? What do you mean I'm sober? Am I sober right now? What do you last night you were a little drunk, so you were a little emotional. I was emotional? You came at me hot, too. I got a f***ing sea urchin in my throat right now. Oh, my God. I can't with you. Okay, <laughs> hopefully take care of your sea urchins. She's in a terrible mood. I've been nothing but generous and loving to everyone. If she wants to be ungrateful for everything that we're trying to offer her and I haven't put her over enough, then we can talk about that in the ring. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like five feet away, ungrateful? I'm standing right here and my girlfriend's <laughs> at the table and you're gonna talk yes, yes, we're not fighting, we have to go. If you have something to say to me, you haven't said a word to me all day about it, come find me and talk to me. What, wouldn't you rather have me say it to your face and say it You didn't say it to my face, said it was five <laughs> feet away to my girlfriend. Give me back my title. Uh, that's like disrespectful though. I didn't pay that way, Naya. What? Wait, is Naya joking? No, she's not joking. Naya comes at me and she's all heated and mad, but I'm not here to be liked, I'm here to entertain, and I really don't think I deserve to, to, to have anybody come at me like that. She's very aggressive. Not everybody's out to get her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and, and I, I love Naya. Like, I have a great relationship with her, but like, everything is just very intense, and it's like, it doesn't have to be like that. Like, I just, oof. I, I don't know, I just, I'm really not sure at this point, like, what's going on with Naya? I've seen Naya explode at Carmella. I feel like you're really fake and not authentic. She's been kind of like on a mean streak lately that it's not her. Not everybody has to be a part of the first ever everything. I don't feel like Naya is being as supportive as she used to be. Where's our bag? Sonia. Uh, oh, hey, oh Nash! My gosh, I didn't know you were coming. Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so excited to be in Maui, have a girls trip with all my close girlfriends. It's gonna be so much fun. Sonia, of course, shows up last. And she brings Ariana with her. I got you this. Oh, no. But you have to, okay, now you have to split it. Oh, with Ariana. Uh, oh, I thought you knew she was going. I didn't know. You take mine. Oh, s no, 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 she can have mine. I'm gonna lay you. I should be the only one to lay her, Natty. No, I oh. mean, well. <laughs> I assumed that you guys thought I was coming, but. Didn't tell nobody, but it's okay, I'll be here. It's a 
great surprise. I thought that I made it clear to all the girls that we weren't going to bring our significant others because the whole point of the trip is to celebrate what we did at WrestleMania. It's just like, I would have liked to have known or been looped in. So are you going to get to it or what do you mean get to it? I'm actually glad that now you're talking to me because I, I've waited actually for this for three and a half years. Maurice, Nicole, and myself got offered a really great work opportunity. Unfortunately, they decided they only wanted my sister and I. Now, business is business, but somewhere along the line, Maurice thought my sister and I blocked her from a contract. I couldn't even get the Divas Championship when I went back to WWE, let alone block someone's contract. You made a pact with me. I had the contract in front of me. I said no because you wanted more. And then my friends did not look at me, call me, text me for three and a half years. That is not okay. Not true. And you know what? I can't forgive. I'll you never let me speak. forget. So I keep trying right, to talk. You let's let's just hear from Bree. Let's hear from Bree. And you Bree. took the friendship away. Now I'm done. You can go. I called you, Maurice, and I told you. You know what you said to me? Don't worry, girl. Business will not come in the way of our friendship. But I will tell you one it's thing okay. that my husband believe. said to me that really, believe. really hit home is that he really never enjoyed you because he always thought you were rude to me and always belittled <laughs> me. When this all went down, it proved to me that I was always there for you. I was always rooting you on, and you were always getting everything, which was amazing. But I felt like the minute I got something, what did you do? You know, no, you blamed me blaming, you're, for you're, you not getting it. Absolutely not. It like blew your mind. Like, how dare Brie and Nicole get something over me? Like, it, it almost like dumbfounded you. You know what? I am married with a beautiful man I love, that he loves me to death. I have an amazing house. I did movies. I've done. I don't care about any know? of that. You care about those things, I don't. Being successful is not wrong. Having goals in life and dreams and fight for them is not wrong. I know, but Maurice, just how you were hurt, I was extremely hurt too. You did mean a lot to me, and I literally was devastated when it all went down, and I fought so hard to keep trying to get you and get you and get you, and all I can say is that that situation made everything that my husband thought about you seem valid. No, we were just talking earlier about like, it's just we're four weeks away from WrestleMania. And with the Ronda situation, I know you guys have probably seen that stuff that went viral. Yeah. I'm so, like, whatever. If people are talking, that's she did her job. So tonight when you were giving your promo. The water bottle kill me. It wasn't a promo. I'm not going out there and doing their fing act anymore. Them. Everybody, WWE Universe included. I meant that I'm going to disrespect the sport that they all love so much. It's scripted, it's made up, it's not real. None of those bitches can touch me, the end. She's trying to get everybody riled up. She's, she absolutely did that. But I also think that like, because I have been in this business a long time, like I do understand that like, you, we have to be careful. Right, and why would it sound disrespectful? I just can't believe that, because Rhonda's really, res she is respectful. I think so highly of Rhonda. So for her to, say that everything we do is fake, it, it kind of made me go like, whoa, like I hope Rhonda doesn't really think that and I, I don't want her to think that well, we're just this phony business.